Today I'm going to show you guys how I do uh, water changes in my Cardinal Sulawesi shrimp tank because it can be a little bit difficult with the minerals I use to get it to dissolve properly. Right? So this is the process I'm going to show you today on how I do it and it's coming right up. Okay, so here is the minerals that I use for uh, my Cardinal Sulawesi. I use Saltly uh, Mineral, Sulawesi Mineral 8.5, right? So um, there is a reason we're going to do things in a certain way in this video because the mineral that I use uh, is very hard to dissolve, right? So I have come up with a way, someone suggested it to me in a video and a comment before and uh, what they suggested actually worked, right? But I've never seen it on YouTube so this will be the first time a lot of you guys will have seen this way of doing it, right? Why do I use 8.5? Well, I've had lots of breeding success with 8.5 in my Cardinal Sulawesi tank, right? And it's not just me guys, if you Google the same thing as well, you'll see probably a handful of guys using this stuff too and having lots and lots of success, right? So it is worth using the 8.5, it is worth having that little bit extra hassle to get the minerals properly into the tank, dissolve properly, it is worth using this stuff because you, the proof is in the pudding, right? You have lots and lots of babies, I'll put some stock footage up somewhere here now um, I have lots of babies. My shrimp bred very, very fast. It was like within the first two months, my shrimp did actually breed, right? And I think it's all down to this because I did actually try going back to uh, the Salty B Mineral, the Neo Caradina version, which is uh, GHKH Plus, and it wasn't as good. It just simply wasn't as good. I, I did notice the breeding was non existent. So I went back to using this again, and guess what? The shrimp are breeding again, so they definitely do like a little bit harder water. It's either that or they love uh, the minerals in the water. Right, so this video will be uh, kind of in two parts because you guys will see, probably see me wearing different clothes at a different part of this video. Right, and all that is, is guys, is um, I will need a day to dissolve this properly. Right, and obviously I don't make you guys wait for a day, but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to wait for a day and uh, then we'll get back and then we'll do the water change properly, right? So this first part is going to be us uh, dissolving this mineral in a container. Right? I'm going to show you guys all that, right? So don't worry about it. Also, guys, I want to remind you that if you watch to the end of the video, then you will be rewarded for it, right? You will be in with a chance of winning something like this. A packet of my nail mix. This is something I'm doing more and more in my videos because I want to reward the people that watch all of my content, right? So I know it's not a very big thing, but it's something. There's going to be some kind of code word near the end. Of course, I'm not going to mention what it is, but um, I want you guys to put that code word in the comment section below and I'll pick someone. I'm doing this with every single video now. All right, guys, so this is going to be the basis of our setup here. We have our minerals. I have to reach around the camera just because of the angle that it's at. This is the minerals here. We are going to add it to uh, this 5 litre container, it has 4 litres of reverse osmosis water in here that is pure water. Um, I will be doing the water change on this tomorrow, but again, as I said, it will be one second for you guys. Once we've done this part, you'll see the water change done, etc, etc. I just want to go in chronological order so you guys don't get confused, because I know I can rubble. I know I can rubble! Right, so this is the first part. We have our container with the water, and um, I'm going to do... Uh, five liters of water out of the Sulawesi tank, so this is going to be our water change. Uh, so I need to put five liters back in. This is why I do it like this. This is a five liter water container with, with uh, four liters of pure reverse osmosis in it already. Right, we're going to add our minerals. I've already pre measured this before. And by pre measuring, I mean I have a little white spoon somewhere. <laughs> I wondered where it went to. It should have went back in this container. Let me quickly get it. I've actually used this as a measurement because um, it's exactly for these tiny little flat level spoons like this. See if I can get it in a way you'll be able to see it. Um, is the, the amount I need in 5 litres of water uh, to make this uh, Sulawesi mineral. As I said to you guys before, I always write down my target TDS on the top. I'll explain this to you guys as I go along as well. Right? So we're going to add 4 little scoops. I'm going to try and make this as uh, viable as possible for you guys four flat level scoops like this, you see how it's flat, just into the water, one, two, try and get it flat, three, four, right, so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit over as well because 
um, we'll be able to add a little bit of water to this or take some of the water away and add reverse osmosis water to it to hit our target as well. But you'll see all that in a second. Just remember guys, when you're using your minerals, to make sure your lid, your inside lid, is on really tightly, right? Because um, I've done it before where I've forgotten to put this little thing in and it's made the salt go hard, right? So just make sure you do that. Get your mineral mix, reverse osmosis water, with your salty B. Sulawesi mix. Just give it a shake like this. Hopefully I don't hit the camera. Because uh, I'm about to show you why this is so hard to mix. Right? Normally this would be enough, wouldn't it guys? It would be enough if you were doing any other kind of water change. The minerals would have mixed already. So we're going to have a wee look. I'll probably just tilt the camera forward a little bit. Hopefully I won't push the camera over or anything like that. Right? But I want you guys to see the difference here. Right? So I'm just going to lift you up gently. Like so. I'm going to balance you in my chest. Hopefully you will be able to read this number. I will zoom in as well. Right, so we want the water to nearly come out. Mark, you're making a mess of this. Who said that in the chat? It's so it's not even 70. Is that even right? Not even 70, right? So that's very hard for me to show you this, guys. It's spilling the water all over the floor. 73, right? So it shows you how much of the minerals are still undissolved, right? So what we do next, I'm just going to place you down gently, my little children. What we're going to do next, guys, is to make sure that we can actually dissolve the minerals in here because they will stay solid in the bottom. Somewhere in the bottom here, they won't dissolve, right? It's just the the way that the salty mineral, Sulawesi mineral 8.5, it's the way it is, right? So that's why a lot of people don't like to use it because you have to go through all this extra work just to get it uh, viable to go in the shrimp tank, right? So, someone suggested to me in my comment section before that why don't you try using CO2? I have used CO2 before in the previous Sulawesi uh, water change video, but I use DIY stuff with uh, citric acid and bic what was it? bicarbonate soda, um, and it was just so time consuming and uh, so difficult to do all the time. Right? I know this looks like it's extremely complicated, but it's not. Once you get used to doing this, it's easy, right? So. What I've done is uh, use the soda stream. Here's a one litre bottle of reverse osmosis water. I only use this in the shrimp room as well, guys. So it might have the odd bit of duckweed floating around in here that's about to be carbonized. <laughs> right, so the way you do it with the soda stream is uh, you press the button on the top until it makes a clicking noise. And then that is your water carbonated, right? Because we want that carbonated water to go into our mineral mix here because it will help to kind of dissolve it a little bit, right? Let's do that. Click. The reason it's not clicking. Let's see if I if I got this in properly. Oh, it did click. It did click. There you go. I didn't actually press the button down hard enough. So that was uh, not very long to do that. Put a little funnel back on. It's good if you use these as well because you will have generally less spilling. Open your wee soda stream. Don't tell the kids that you have this. I have actually tasted this water and it's mega, mega carbonated. So like this, you see all the little bubbles? This water will now be acidic with CO2. We pour it into a container and you will see the water start to rise on the inside. Maybe you will, it's here somewhere. Right guys, and the reason I'm using this 5 litre container is because I put 4 litres of water in, 1 litre of this, and then there's a small gap near the top where um, if I need to add reverse osmosis water, if my, just say my uh, mineral reading is too high, I can add reverse osmosis to it to lower again. Okay, I also like to keep this on here, just so I know where it is all the time. Right, this soda stream cost me uh, about $40, and it cost me roughly about $30 for the CO2 cartridge on the inside of this machine, right? So I'm hoping this will last a long time because honestly, guys, I'm lucky if I do a water change in this tank once a month, right? So will this last 12 times? Yes. Will that be worth it if I get good, clean water for my Sulawesi? Yes, definitely, right? So get rid of your little funnel. 
because this is now carbonated, it has our minerals in it, it has our carbonated water. Now you want to just give it a shake like this to make sure that that carbonated water gets mixed in with the reverse osmosis water that's in here, right? So when you're happy this is done, you can just rest this somewhere, right? Let it start to dissolve the minerals, right? And I have done this quite a few times before and it's always the next day it's better. Uh, you will we'll notice working guys basically when you go and take another TDS reading here and the TDS is higher, right? That's how this works, right? So make sure your lid's on tight to keep in the CO2 and we'll come back tomorrow and uh, we'll see what the TDS is in this. It will work because I've done it a few times. As I said guys, remember watch to the end to find out what our magical code word is if you want to win a packet of metal mix. Good morning guys, it is the next day. Let's check this water. I've actually already checked it guys. I checked it like uh, two hours ago. But I need to check it again. This is something you'll have to do as well because you need to see if the CO2 has dissolved all the minerals or not, right? So you will be able to tell if it hasn't, if it keeps on climbing the number, right? So mine was 154, 55, something like that. If I can get down here and press the hold button without dropping it into the container. Hold. Let's see, will you guys be able to make that out? 156, so it's went up one. I would say that it's pretty much done. Right, so what we need to do next, guys, is uh, this water will have CO2 gas in it, in the bubbles, right? Which we want to remove because CO2 lowers pH, right? So the way you do that is you add an air supply into here. It's easy for us to do. I'm a shrimp room. I have lots of little air sockets and stuff. All right, guys, this actually came from the Sulawesi tank right next to us here. Just plop it in. And what I'll do with this, guys, is I'll let this degas for probably about four hours before I even think about putting it in the tank right and then we also need to top up the water slightly because uh, that TDS is a little bit too high for the tank it's like 155 156 our tank is 140 right so this little gap that we have here we can fill up with reverse osmosis water give it a shake and it'll be good to go once we've heated up okay you'll see that in approximately one well, momentum it has been a uh, plus four hours easily I've switched off the air here we're going to use this Again, by the way, in a second, there's a couple of ways you can put the water back in the tank. I'm going to show you my preferred way. Let's have a look, a little look at the TDS again in this. I'll do it the same way as before. I'll hold in there. 155, 156 is exactly the same TDS as before, right? So all our minerals have been dissolved. It is a tad high. So what I'm going to do, guys, is is uh, we're going to add just a little bit of water to this. Sorry if you heard the noise there, that's just my my hand touching the microphone. All right, so we're going to grab our little funnel wherever it is under here, like so. And I'm going to add in half a litre of water just straight back into it. Or as much as possible that we can get into here. Probably half a litre is going to be the limit I can see here. Right, and this will uh, decrease our TDS because our tank TDS is lower. It's like 140 parts per million. Right, so stick your lid back on. Give it a wee turn, shake like this. And this will help to uh, mix the mineralized RO water with the fresh RO we've just put in. It will help it to... Um, I don't know what the technical word is. There will be an equa... Equa, equa, equilibrium. <laughs> right, so let's get a TDS meter again. It's higher now than it was before. We might not have to put it in so far. 140, 141, 142, 141. So there you go. There is our water made up. Now, as I said to you guys before, there is two ways you can do this that I've done before. Um, if time is not an issue, guys, do it this way because it's much easier. Time is not an issue. Just take that air tubing that you saw before. Stick it back in, like so. Put this up higher than the tank and drip the water back in, right? Or you can do another way of where you can um, raise the temperature in here first by putting this whole container in a bucket of warmer water. Uh, the, the, water that's in, the, the water that's in the inside will heat up as well. And then all you need to do is add that water to the tank, right? So 
We are at that stage now where we actually have to do the water change on the tag to put this water back in, right? So, guys, we have bear our with me, tub, guys. our water container set up here. We have our uh, new clean Sulawesi water that's going to go into the tank already set up here. It's on a drip overflow like this, drip siphon. And uh, we're going to take some water out of the tank and then we're going to fill it back up again with this method. Let me quickly show you because I know I blather on and on and on. Right, so stick in your hose, make sure it fits into the tank. And uh, siphon your water out, right? So I always do a 10% on these more sensitive types of shrimp. So for this tank that is about 4 or 5 litres of water. 4 or 5 litres and it literally takes... Uh, like 20 30 seconds to fill up when you're doing it this way so it's a good idea to have the bucket below the tank when you do this or there will be no siphon if i raise it like this you'll notice that the the water flow gets slower and slower if i lower it it gets much more right so the lower the bucket is the lower the pipe is compared to the actual tank the bigger the siphon will be we're at four liters already one more liter the water is a tad yellow which is uh, not entirely a bad thing, but I like my water to be clean, clean for these more sensitive species. You can tell this water's quite, quite clean already. And I do this in the Sulawesi tank uh, once a week. This is one of these tanks where I make sure I do clean the water because they are, they are quite sensitive. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And then we're on to our little... Um, siphon back into the tank. This is just an easier way to do it guys because um, once I get the siphon started and it's going back into the tank I can forget about it. I can go and do whatever else I want to do because because um, there's only five litres of water in here. We've taken out five litres and there's a little bit room for evaporation as well. Right, So let's get this watch the water come down here get going into the tank you see the water dripping in how fast you do this, guys, is entirely up to you. Uh, for this amount of water, that's just think of it like if, if you were drip acclimating shrimp. Okay, and that's how easy it is, right? So uh, within the next hour, this will be filled back up. We will have done our water change on our Sulawesi using 8.5 uh, shrimp mineral. Okay, so the magic code word, guys, I want you to put in the comment section below if you want to be in with a chance of winning a packet of nettle mix is I love Sulawesi and that is it that's all there is to it okay I want to thank you guys for watching if you're new to the channel then please do subscribe hit that like button and bell notification to never miss another video okay happy shrimp game guys catch you in the next one